this is uh, Thomas with Scuba Travel and Adventure and uh, first of all I want to introduce myself and uh, what is the channel about so my two major passions in life are scuba diving and uh, riding a motorcycle uh, to be more specific it's uh, adventure riding and uh, I started riding a motorcycle about seven eight years ago my first motorcycle I started riding with was a Honda CB500X and uh, after that, uh, about two years ago, I upgraded to uh, 2017 Honda Africa Twin CRF 1000L and a uh, lot of uh, research, uh, what I was doing when I started riding on the longer trips, what gear to get uh, when, I'm, when I'm going uh, for a longer period of time so away from home and especially to keep it on a lower budget uh, to avoid most most of the hotels and uh, stuff like that uh, so after doing quite a bit of a research uh, I figure I'm gonna put a video on uh, what gear uh, I decided to use uh, on my adventures and actually it serves me pretty well I did a couple modifications and uh, changes uh, what worked what didn't work and uh, I think I got it right uh, to suit my needs. So first of all I would like to talk about uh, tent. Uh, so of course we need a nice tent uh, if you're not planning to stay in a hotel. Um, something that's gonna keep you fairly warm and uh, dry and uh, so you can fit all your gear um, while you're riding. So after the first trip, uh, like I said, uh, I ended up uh, buying a um, cheap tent from Canadian Tire and I live here in Canada so that's the northern hemisphere the nights get quite cold if you travel in the mountains uh, that tent did not do the job so I ended up being a bit chilly at night and uh, started doing research uh, where can I go to, to get what to get uh, to stay warmer and uh, I ended up uh, with the Haba Haba NX uh, two-person tent. It's uh, 1.36 kilogram in weight, and so that converts to about three pounds. Super light, pack, pack small, and fits nicely inside the Bumot panniers that I use. So that's uh, about 10 minutes maybe to set it up fits nicely um, all, all your gear at night also you have a lot of room to sleep and uh, you can store all your clothing and everything so that's why I went with a two-person tent so to have that extra room next thing is the Thermarest uh, sleeping pad um, it's super light and uh, also the R value on that is 3.4 and the weight we're looking at one pound which uh, is 0.65 kilograms um, it uh, keeps a nice insulation from the ground and um, I'm getting pretty pretty decent sleep on that pad uh, it's inflatable packs really tiny sleeping bag so what I chose um, I chose as small as I could go and uh, what I went with, uh, I also went with a couple different uh, sleeping bag liners. So in my case, I chose a Chinook sleeping bag. Uh, that's a thermal palm hooded uh, rectangular. And it's good for up to 50 Fahrenheit and uh, plus uh, up to 10, plus 10 uh, degrees Celsius. So the weight of that uh, sleeping bag uh, we're looking here at uh, 0.84 kilogram or 1.9 pound again that packs really nice it's got a compression sack and uh, allows me to pack nice and tight um, when I'm packing my gear so this is it I'll put some links uh, to the items if you're interested uh, I'll try to put the links uh, below the video and uh, you can shop around there's a lot of different sources you can get those items uh, you don't have to get necessarily from manufacturer which you can uh, some of it I purchased in uh, local um, 
uh, outdoor stores like uh, Mac, which is Mountain Equipment Co-op. Some of it uh, I ordered online. A lot of different ways to get this stuff. So if the nights get colder, uh, which they do, I travel in uh, Montana, Idaho, um, British Columbia, Canada, Alberta, Canada. So you will get cold even during the summertime at night. So um, I have two different sleeping bag liners. Uh, one of them is I'm gonna use um, when I'm in a warmer, cli warmer climate, uh, when I was down south. And another one, which is this one here, which is uh, C2 Summit. That thing adds uh, basically, I think, a 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius uh, to the value of uh, the sleeping bag that I use. And again, it's really small and it uh, comes with a little sack, so it packs nicely and tight. And um, so that keeps you warm at night. I, I did not have a problem uh, when I was using that. I was just uh, uh, in October in, a, in a northern Montana and um, I took a trip to the, on a road to the sun. That sleeping, ba that sleeping bag liner does an amazing job to boost up the value and you will stay warm in your tent. So the other sleeping bag liner um, this one is pretty much just for, for a purpose, uh, so you don't mess your sleeping bag. Uh, it still adds a little bit of warmth, it's a fleece liner. And again, this one is from uh, Mountain Equipment Co-op. Um, so I put the link to that one as well. So it's they all washable, so you can uh, um, wash them after the trip or after a few trips, uh, your preference. Um, and so they're easy to maintain and uh, they will add the value and warmth uh, during during the night on a colder night. So of course uh, a pillow it's a must to have. So that's a small inflatable pillow and it's got basically no weight. Uh, the, it's a f made by uh, Nemo equipment it's inflatable so it's uh, and uh, again the the cover of that pillow is washable so um, it's easy to keep it clean and have a good rest uh, during the night so next item I, that I use it's good to have you can sit on your panniers if you want to but uh, uh, Ephram um, that's a very similar idea to the Helix chair um, folding chair. Um, I bought it on Amazon that thing uh, so uh, it's also super light uh, very similar packing uh, idea and folding the whole design is pretty much uh, the same uh, as uh, the Helix chair except this is way smaller so that's another good option to go with if you want to have a sit by the campfire. Of course you gotta keep your bike uh, also protected during the rain and stuff like that so I have a motorcycle cover again purchased from Amazon it's uh, in size extra 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 large so that fits nicely over my Africa twin it covers the panniers and the whole thing so it covers basically the whole motorcycle uh, I'll put some descriptions and pictures um, once I put the video together so you'll have an idea on that one as well then I will jump into other stuff and like a first aid kit that's a must have just in case something happens you have that kit and uh, all the necessary stuff uh, when you get injured or bruised or with another item I carry is a little compressor and uh, I also carry the front and rear tube uh, just in case there's a problem on the road, um, I can al I'm always prepared. I carry the whole set of tools uh, that's needed for my bike's uh, uh, maintenance uh, on the road and uh, in emergency, so I can deal with uh, any potential problem uh, and I can jump on it and fix myself before I get some help if needed. So jumping into the other pannier, um, Everybody likes coffee in the morning, so I found this coffee maker. Actually, this thing is pretty amazing. Um, 
it brews one cup at a time. It comes with filters and everything. And um, you can have your coffee in the morning. So that's again uh, purchased in an outdoor store. And um, have your little cup uh, of coffee first thing in the morning. It's awesome before you get uh, somewhere to the restaurant or somewhere for the first stop. I put the description on that uh, so you can uh, do a little bit more research if you are interested. Um, I carry a pepper spray which is a must so when you're doing backcountry camping good to have it right beside you when you're sleeping just in case. So if you don't want to stop at the restaurant if you are away from the civilization I also carry a little uh, cooking set so which has pretty much everything that I need um, that that's a MSR by the company MSR it comes with the stove I'll open that up so you have an idea what I'm talking here about so of course you got your then it comes with two bowls uh, like just like that and that packs everything all in all, all together and you got two drinking cups inside the cups uh, when you open them it's kind of tough to open but uh, one of them you got the stove which attaches to the propane bottles I carry two propane bottles with me I actually prefer to go and uh, have my food cooked uh, it's way quicker when you are on an adventure and uh, the other cup when you open it's got uh, like your spoon and a fork and of course you have to have the can open so you gotta have your beer open too right so that's a must so what else do I carry um, I carry a little bit of food, uh, usually it's a canned food so that I can quickly open it and uh, uh, I carry water, I carry spare uh, can of fuel or jerry can of fuel. Um, I take a couple shirts, uh, you know, a couple pair of underwear, uh, socks and stuff like that. So try to be as light as possible. So basically when I'm going uh, on an adventure ride uh, all my gear, food, and uh, everything that I use basically packs in my two side panniers. Uh, the top pannier on my bike, I try to keep empty so just so I can store my my helmet and uh, uh, any other stuff that uh, I will use. I show you in a second how everything is packed once I put everything inside the panniers, so this, this way you have an idea. So here are my packed panniers. Uh, like I said, everything in one pannier is camping. The other one is like my cooking and uh, clothing that will, as you see, there's lots of extra room. And uh, I've got those little lid covers, uh, lid, lid organizers. And here I'll put my toiletries. Uh, on the other side, I'll put my documents and stuff like, like that so I can lock everything up uh, uh, while I'm on the road. And uh, like I said, my uh, fuel jerry can and a water jerry can is attached uh, to the pannier so it's easy accessible when you need. Thank you for watching this video and if you found it uh, informative, um, please subscribe. I'll try to post uh, more videos so if you would like to know what's coming up in the future, click the notification bell and uh, I'll try to deliver some more information once I get ideas. Uh, thank you again and have a good day, ride safe out there.